Another way to improve a photo is to use uh, curves to adjust the color curves. Uh, go ahead and open up brightness levels on curves.jpg. If you're already working on it, just close it and open it up again or undo the changes. Either way, just open the original file. And then we need to go add an adjustment layer. So click add adjustment layer on the bottom of the layers panel. And then go to curves. And by default, we're adjusting RGB, red, green, blue, the three channels of light in a photo. Now, we can do a couple things here, which I'll show you in, in a second, but sometimes a lot of people just hit auto, and Photoshop tries to figure out what kind of adjustments it should make uh, in this photo. So it moved this over a little bit, you know, not too much, and then it adjusted, added this little curve here, All right? I don't think it did too good of a job here. So you can actually click and drag these points off and it will get rid of those points. So we just have the default straight line as if I hadn't hit auto. So with this one, I think actually we do need to add two. We add one up here and add one over here. Pull it a little bit to the left though. And that really brightens up those dark areas, the dark colors there. Uh, and that's pretty good, I think. Just so that you're aware of this, if you have a photo and you want to set the white point, a area that should just be completely white, you can do that with this set white point eyedropper tool. And then say you think the background should be white, you can click it. It does change the photo a lot though. You can also set the black point where it'd be completely black. And then a set kind of a mid-tone point if you can find a gray area. Uh, but that doesn't really improve it that much. Uh, I think the original manual effect is a lot better. So you can delete that if you want to start again. Uh, just click and drag that adjustment layer uh, to the trash. And with this one, you just click and drag two points up, one over to the left a little bit, and it's really going to open up those dark areas. Uh, and then this one, of course, we'd crop it as well. And then there we go. Just a quick little technique to use curves to improve lighting in a photo.